<laughs> Are we both allergic to lanterns? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. We we tend we it's partly it's like a protest sort of thing. At least for me, it is. I don't know. Brian can tell you what it is for him, but um, the thing is, is that this game has gone through many changes in terms of the lighting and the way the lighting works. And currently, the current iteration is that, in my opinion, I don't feel like we need lanterns because you can see everything regardless of what time of day it is or what time of night it is. And I don't find it any more challenging to see stuff in the dark than I do in the day. And so I just don't use lanterns anymore. Uh, I also don't put up too many lamps, although I did put a couple lamps up at the workshop. Yeah, so recently they changed caves. So caves are now dark again. But there was like a long period of time where caves were not dark. And so you did not need lanterns in caves either. Um, right, unless you're watching a streamer without a lantern. It's possible that it's harder on a stream to watch a person without a lantern. But I mean, it's nighttime right now, right? Like, what time is it? In the game, it's 3 a.m. And... I don't... I can see those linden trees at the bottom of the farm pretty clearly. Without any trouble, I can see the end of the farm. And I can see the distant terrain perfectly fine at 3 a.m. Um, with no trouble whatsoever. I can see very, very far. And I can see all the stuff that's around me very clearly. And so... I almost feel like there's even a light, a glow, right? Like there's a light, and that might come be coming from the moon. Uh, the light up at the trees there are coming from the workshop forge and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Lanterns and lights just take all that e much effort, and it doesn't pay off, really, because it doesn't help you see better when you can already see 100% good. Okay, so I'm going to go make some chains. When we first started playing Worm, and this is another place where we could, where I could use my old man Adam face, uh, nights were dark, like super dark, where you couldn't see in front of you. Like you might be able to see the tree that's in front of you, but the next tree beyond that was in shadow. Um... And so I, I know we, we definitely complained about how dark it was back then. We all were like, wow, this is so dark. Like it makes it so hard to travel anywhere. We would like wait on our deed before it was daytime, before we would go out hunting or before we would go out traveling. We'd be, be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to the start of town to get my, whatever it was from the trader that's there. But I don't want to go now because it's dark. So I'm going to wait till it's light. <laughs> And we would complain about it back then, but then when they removed that, uh, it's like that nostalgia. You, you miss it. You know, you miss the having to worry about night. Um, and it makes it so that there's less threat. You know, I don't, I don't even notice a difference between night and day anymore. It could be night, it could be day, and to me, it's equivalent with or without a lantern. I don't know if that means that it's better or worse or whatever. I know lots of people like it that they don't have to worry about it being dark at night. I just think it adds an extra element of fun to the game if it was dark at night. And uh, I guess people can choose to agree or disagree with that. Let's see. How do I make chain? for this. Is it large anvil? Guessing. Large anvil with iron. Large chain link, that's it. You find it to be a good way to get rid of the low quality tars that are left over when I dig for high quality tar for ships. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
yeah you can see both sides yeah i know i know the devs are put in that position where if they do make nights darker you're going to upset a whole bunch of people for sure yeah sure nights are bright that's fine um they already made i'm just going to hold to the yeah they made their choice i'm going to hold to my position of made half the population yeah. angry for making it lighter <laughs> light yeah that's true yeah I don't know. Uh, and if they, if that's like, I'm just going to hold to my position that if the nights are going to be bright, then I just don't need lanterns for that situation then. I mean, the only reason to use a lantern now would be for role playing purposes. You know, if you want to be like, oh, it's the dead of night and I would like my character to be holding a lantern because of that. It's not going to help you see better, though. How about fog? Yeah, uh, fog got nerfed to the ground. So like fog used to be blinding, but uh, two things changed. One is that fog never becomes that blinding anymore. Like it's always, you can still see pretty far. It does obstruct view, uh, but also fog happens so far less frequently than it used to that does on this server, happen? I've been pl I saw it once, I saw it once. The entire time we've been playing it, where it got to be a decent fog i've seen fog a couple times but not to the point where like it's obstructing your view so i saw it once where it was obstructing my view and um right right taxi but the thing is is that like you hate making lights so you use your lantern a lot i don't mind making lights but i don't need them I don't think that you need them, so I don't ever use lights. Um, oh, you prefer it to be bright around you. Okay. You like the light better. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, and with fog, having a lantern doesn't help because it just makes it all... <laughs> you still can't see in fog with a lantern, but <laughs> you can't... You, fog doesn't happen very often anymore. I loved it when fog was so thick you couldn't see. I totally loved it. Again, for the same reason as I loved the Dark Nights, because it adds that sense of fear, you know, or that you're going to get lost. And like it, it adds panic. <laughs> generally, it just adds a use for lanterns slash lamps. Yeah. Well, the Dark Nights, yeah. Is anybody truly really angry that they can't see anything in a mine right now without putting some lamps or lanterns that around? you must yeah that you must bring a lamp into a mine now because it's too dark to see without although honestly i, I still do, i still don't use lamps for that either Even though they did make mines darker, you still can see well enough not needing to not need a lamp. Like it used to be that if you didn't have a lamp and you went into the mine, you couldn't see a thing. Like there was nothing that you could yeah, see. That's true. You couldn't see the wall in front of you. You couldn't see which way <laughs> you were going. You would turn around. You couldn't see anything. And like it forced you to be like, OK, I'm not going in there without a lamp. And you really had to like make sure that you had oil and you know like it caused you to think through your actions <laughs> but um, atomic i, I like that <laughs> that's that's not a <laughs> saying it would be silly otherwise because it's underground but isn't that the same comment for it would be silly if nighttime was bright without right lamps or or any kind of light but, system i think somebody <clears throat> mentioned earlier i missed who it was i think it was nin maybe uh who said that we have oh yeah it was nin saying we have four moons so it makes sense that night would be a little bit bright true like in real life i've, but... I've gone out <laughs> when the moon was full bright and the stars were out and it was like nice and bright and you could <clears throat> see around you which is fine but like in the middle like, there's of, definitely like the like nowhere yeah, like in Algonquin Forest, when the moon was out, the the stars were out, and you can actually see everything. It was just beautiful. There's definitely nights like that. 
but there's like definitely also nights <laughs> yeah yeah but there's definitely also nights where you're out in cottage country and you are your eyes are wide open but there's like no signal anything. like literally nothing yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's like that experience is I, I like that experience in real life having that like i'll sit there in my you know a cabin or whatever like i'm in the middle of nowhere with in the middle of the night and i'm just staring with my eyes like i'm looking for anything that, that really i can cool. see and you just see nothing <laughs> that'd be really cool if, if worm had that ability right it can't just yeah. be one and done sort of thing but have the ability if it gets cloudy like it is right now why isn't it darker yeah and drogo you're suggesting putting it on a toggle yeah Although, to be honest, if it was a toggle, I still wouldn't use lanterns because I could just toggle. I use the toggle to I, turn the like, light on. I almost feel like the environment as a gameplay feature shouldn't be toggleable. Yeah. If it was something that can in that makes you change the way that your gameplay is, should just be a feature. They got to choose one way or the other. And they, they chose. Yeah. They chose. That's fine. Like, I know people like putting lanterns for decoration, and they sometimes make a, a place look really it cool, turned, like with the colors and everything. Yeah. All, all that ended up happening was that it turned lanterns and, and lamps into decoration items. Decorations, yeah. Instead of. And Brian and I are not the type to be decorators, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. <laughs> We're not. Unfortunately. We don't like to do stuff, particularly <laughs> for the aesthetics. Um, we'll do stuff more for the practical. And if it comes down to choosing, do I m spend my time making and imping lamps and dyeing them all and making them look nice? Well, what function would that serve? And if it's no function, then we probably will spend our time elsewhere. 